What's going on, y'all? Sierra Image Films, we live here. We got Chantel G. I'm gonna interview her real quick, cause you know what I'm saying. So, on yeah, me. yeah. So let me ask you, how did, did you enjoy the show tonight? I love the show. It was live, full of talent. All the greatest people that made an impact in hip hop was definitely here. So there's oh. more to come. We still ain't seen Method Man and Red Man hit the stage, and we still waiting. We backstage getting interviews with. See, you you're trying to take my job. You 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 doing too much. See, see, I'm interviewing you. All right. So, yeah. So we still ain't see Red and Meth yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, you know, we're waiting on a few people. I want to give a shout out to International P. But we're here with the most prettiest young lady in the building. And, and we're going to find out what's going on with her. So, who did you enjoy the best tonight so far? Um, I can't say I had a favorite. <laughs> Lord Tariq. <laughs> Lord Tariq was a favorite. No, definitely Uptown Baby. I grew up on that. That was a classic. It was everything and then something to really see them on stage tonight and bring it. Did, but didn't LV, LB Fam kill it? Did, didn't Cheeks do his mother? Cheeks did his thing. He had the crowd moving and jumping. Woo! Tony Sunshine sang the ladies' panties off. Really it was classic. It was classic. It was classic with a K. All right, so the Nori. I, yo, Nori went in. What, what? So much energy. So much energy. Give me a Nori verse. Oh, come on. No give me a chorus. Just give me a chorus. <laughs> no way, I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't. man. I was supposed to interview you. You can't put the script on me. I'm just I'm trying I'm trying to get a job. This is my application. This is my resume. Oh, oh, I'm trying to get a job. ASAP with a blink of an eye. You can come I'm high. down. Come on down. Come uh, down to Jersey. I work two hours a week. Okay. And I need free trips to Hawaii and a okay. pay increase every month. Okay. All right. You're an expensive right, so. employee. Yeah, let's go. Now, <laughs> now you can. <laughs> I love you, sweetie. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for being a good sport. Um, so let's talk about, do you, how does it feel to walk around knowing that you have such an impact in the hip hop movement, the hip hop game? And you just such a humble dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I feel good. I mean, before Deja Vu, like I kind of had a, a nice little buzz in the Bronx, in the borough, and kind of filtered into the city and everywhere else, up and down, and I loved it, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm trying to get people away from basing me on Deja Vu or basing Pete on Deja Vu because we bigger than that. We had a big contribution to hip hop. The first mixtapes and all of that, rhyming on mixtapes, putting mixtapes out, which kind of was the birth for a lot of these dudes that's really doing it now. Weezy, 50, J, all of them. Like I'm the first dude to ever do a song with Jay and Nas together. You know what I'm saying? The first. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of the dudes that was able to hang with Biggie on the song with Think Big. Look it up. Listen to my verse. Listen to Big. And y'all see what I'm saying? I was out. I was right there with him. He kind of, you know, took off. You know, Big whip ass. But I was right there with him. You know. And I just love. I love the game. I love hip hop. It's not about bread. It's not about cameras. I don't do interviews. I don't like the stage. You know what I'm saying? I love to be in the studio creating. Even though he lit up the stage, he says he doesn't like the stage, but that's all good. It's instinct. I, I went to school for that, but you know, Harvard, summa right. cum laude. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> How do you feel about the, the impact and the messages that today's music is bringing as far as to the youth compared to back then when Wills listened to your tracks bump? I mean, I love any anybody that loves hip hop doing their thing, even if it's independent, even if they sign to a major. I love people doing their thing, especially our people, black, Latino, the underclass, so call it, doing their thing, making money. There's an underlying message, which is that itself, you know what I'm saying? They may not be the best lyricists how we grew up. You had to be nice, you had to make a, a good song that understandable. Trap music, to me, a lot of the trap music, not all of it, if you don't understand the lyrics, it's sort of like reggaeton. Okay. or like reggae to most people. You may not understand what they're saying, but you feel it. So it's heartfelt music, and I love it. I love it all. It's a branch off the tree of hip-hop. You know, the roots, and you know, it's a branch off the tree. I love it. I love it. I'll never downplay it. You heard it from Lord Tariq himself. Thank you for blessing us with this interview. Much love to Sierra Image Films. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I'll be seeing you some other time, another event. I'll definitely run into you. We're going to after party. You going to after party? We going to after party? Oh, we, after party. we just been invited officially to the after party. You going to take care of me? You know yeah. I'm hungry, right? I've been working hard tonight. I got you, baby. <laughs> take care. No, Thank you so much. Thank you. y'all. Sierra Image Films, Chantel G, Civic Center. You already know what it is. Hudson Valley Throwback Music Fest. We still waiting for Method Man and Red Man. We are behind the stage, behind the scenes, underground, in the basement. We're going to see what happens, how it goes down. Keep it locked.